So, uh, Bob, let me just say, this is a candle. I so, see. when it's lit, you could, if you felt like it, um, take the candle and light the tablecloth on fire. And the tablecloth would catch on fire, and then the stage would catch on fire, then the carpet, then the, and then the whole building would catch on fire. And then the Pasadena, the Col Paseo Colorado would be on fire, and then fire trucks would come from everywhere, and then there'd be this conflagration. Or, you can just be aware it's a candle. <laughs> so Bob, if you would, go, go kind of uh, far down, uh, uh, cam what do we call it, camera right, uh, stage left, and I will then use this ordinary box of science. <laughs> yes, it's an extraordinary device with two holes cut in it and a shower curtain draped over the end. Three, two, one. Yes, pretty impressive. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yes, oh, there's his arm, his sleeve. Yes, ooh, hi, whoa, oh, oh. yes, ah. Now, Bob, you have worked on stage for a long time. Yes. Have you ever gotten applause for having a candle blow out? No. See, it's science. So we're going to press our luck and try it again. Yeah, yeah, we are. Steady, careful. Now, Bob, I'm sure you recognize this. Yes. As Steve Martin said, you blow words into it. Then when it pops, it goes, duck on it. No. It's a joke. So, Bob, do you recognize that shape? The shape? Yes, the shape. Yes, I do. What is it? Uh, sorry, I'll boost, I'll boost the microphone. It is a? It's an, um, an oblong. Oblong is correct, but Bob, look closely. I think anyone can see. It's a fish. Yes. Clearly a fish. It's a fish. So, Bob, if you would, yes. hold the fish from below between you and the candle, pretty close to the candle. And I predict that air will go around the balloon and hit the candle. <laughs> Robert Picardo, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Bob. How about another marshmallow? Yeah, have one. Have another marshmallow. Here we go. Robert Picardo, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before I go, I just want this demonstration compelled me since I was a little kid watching bees. What is the real shape of the puff of air coming out of the puff of air box of science? You might think it's a ball. You might think it's a bullet shape. You might think it's a teardrop. But I'll show you. I have here everybody's favorite, the, the, wait, wait, steady, the theater fog machine. And I will fill this box with this theater fog. Now, everybody, I have breathed this stuff for years and years on, <laughs> on television, and you can see I'm fine. <laughs> so here's the real shape of the air coming out. And it really is extraordinary. And when we go to land on Mars, you had better believe that the people who figured this out understood these vortex rings. So I want you to think about one last thought before we do this one last reference. When you're on a surfboard or in a boat and the wave goes under you, the boat goes up and down, right? The wave passes under you and nothing happens. But in this case, the fluid, the air, is passing through the air. And it was with discoveries like this that we can, dare I say it, change the world! <laughs>